Good morning and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 14th of March 2019 and the time has just gone 11.10 GMT. This week's chart of the week is Euro Sterling, the Euro versus the British Pound. And putting aside the politics for one second, uh, if you just take a look at the chart, we can see what the price action has been doing for the last number of months. Uh, we can clearly see here that Euro Sterling has been in a nice downward trend since December 2018, a nice series of lower lows and lower, sorry, lower lows and lower highs. And in fact, the lower low that we reached yesterday was the lowest level Euro Sterling has been since May 2017. So it's giving an indication of how weak the Euro is versus the British pound. Uh, the, the, the trend is clearly in a downward trend. And if just say, if we do continue to see the recent downward trend continue, uh, we could be looking at heading down towards 80, 0 spot 84, which is this region here. We can see that the 84 area, 0 spot 84 region, did manage to act as support back in early 2017. So there's a possibility that region might have support again in the near term. If you do, though, see a bit of a bounce back in the euro versus the, the British pound, we could see resistance come into play in around the zero spot 86 area. It's a big psychological number, but more importantly, zero spot 86 will be roughly the region uh, where this trend line comes into play. And if you draw a line between the highs of January, 20, uh, of January but also the highs of February and March. We get this trend line along here. And we can see here that it's been well respected on a couple of occasions. And that makes it more likely to be respected again in the near term should we see a move to the upside. So keep an eye out for the 0 spot 86 area. Uh, but if you do see uh, the, the market trade above that, uh, resistance might be found in at uh, this region here, 0 spot 86, 66. We can see that that is an area that provided both support and resistance recently and making it more likely that it will do so again in the near term. If it do manage to break above 0 spot 86, 66, that area, we could find some uh, resistance being found in around the 0 spot 88 region. We can see that on a few occasions in, in, uh, in January, in February, uh, in early February and mid-February, that the 0 spot 88 region did manage, uh, did see a better consolidation, so that region could be important in the near term. Uh, looking at the politics of the situation, uh, last night in Westminster, MPs made a, uh, voted against uh, a no-deal Brexit. Now, there's no guarantee that a no-deal Brexit won't happen just because they've voted against it. They've just politically shown their hand. They've made a, sent a clear message to Brussels that they don't want a no-deal scenario. So, we don't, so, as it stands, the UK is set to leave the EU on the 29th of March, and the current arrangement is for a no-deal. But MPs last night made it clear they don't want a no-deal. So the vote tonight uh, at 1700 GMT, 7pm UK time, uh, there's, there's going to be a vote on extending Article 50. Now, if, the, if, if MPs do vote to extend Article 50, that would have to be approved by Brussels. Um, what we've seen in recent weeks and months, any signs of an extension or even a possibility of, a no, of, of, of no Brexit happening whatsoever, any of those signs, whether they've been potentially on the table, we, we have seen the British pound advance uh, and put pressure on the euro. So keep, if, you're, if you are trading euro sterling, please keep an eye out for the politics uh, that will be in play later on, in, uh, later on this afternoon. And if you are trading um, the euro versus the British pound, Please keep an eye out for the Eurozone inflation numbers, which are, out, which are, due, which are due out tomorrow at 10 a.m. GMT. Uh, finally, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.